Dom here from Essential RC. Thanks for tuning in for this first intro video into the FoxTech H-Wing VTOL, an innovative aerial video solution that combines the benefits of fixed wing flight endurance and multi-rotor VTOL convenience. So what do I mean by that? Well, basically it does not need a runway to take off. It can take off vertically and land vertically, but after it takes off, it can transition to regular fixed wing flight which is much more efficient and enables it to fly for a lot longer. Key features of the FoxTech H-Wing VTOL, it comes in its own carry case and it is ready to fly. It comes with everything that you need to get it flying. So the H-Wing, you get the transmitter, the flight battery that needs to go in the H-Wing and the charge for that, plus all the other leads that you need to configure it. It is really quick to put together, it literally takes minutes to assemble it and to get it into the air. Light modular airframe, so no tools needed, no messy wiring, no complicated connecting procedures. It uses GPS for position hold, return to home and flight path planning with waypoints that you would define via an app if you go the expert route, but there is a beginner app if you just want to do general hands-on flying. It has an onboard 720p 24 frames a second FPV camera that transmits directly to the transmitter and onto your smartphone app. And that is integrated with the 2.4 gigahertz video data RTC transmission system that can operate over a maximum of 10 kilometers. It's also compatible with action cameras like DJI Osmo and GoPro. So you can just drop those into the front here after removing the foam insert and securing them in place with the Velcro strap. It has no control surfaces, which I think is great for two reasons. If you did have servos and moving control surfaces like ailerons, elevons, then those would be at risk of getting damaged. The other benefit is that it uses a differential uh, steering mechanism or yaw to uh, change direction in flight and that keeps the captured image on FPV and your action camera totally flat at all times. It has a maximum 25 kilometer flying range. So they tested it up to taking off to 50 meters altitude and flying continuously and it flew for 25 kilometers in zero wind. Maximum fixed wing flight endurance is 40 minutes apparently and multi-rotor endurance if it, you were to hover continuously after takeoff that would be 18 minutes. Both of those are maximums obviously. There is emergency fail-safe mechanisms as well. So in the event of low voltage on the flight battery or the signal loss between the transmitter and the H-Wing, it would return to home. And also combines stall protection as well, should it detect that happening. So now let's look at a quick demo of it being assembled, configured and flying for the first time. So here's our friend from FoxTech and he is taking the main fuselage out of the nice carry case that you get with the H-Wing and takes the cover over the battery compartment and connects up the battery and we do this first to get the onboard positioning system to acquire GPS signal from the satellites so that it understands where it is. Now he's already loaded the HEQ app onto his smartphone, Android smartphone, and he starts it up to ensure and test that the FPV camera is working and that it has acquired the GPS satellite position. Then we disconnect and remove the battery so we can safely complete assembly of the H-Wing. Then taking the VTOL arms out of the case and these slide on there are electrical connections that are made with the side of the fuselage so very simple they just slide on no bolts to do up literally just a friction fit then put on the propellers which are uh, have silver or black spinners to identify where they should go according to which way the motor rotates that they are being attached to. 
They're self-tightening, so there's no need to uh, tighten them up too much. And then we take the winglets out of the carry case and again slide those on to the VTOL arms that we connected to the fuselage. And these click and lock into position. And we've got our battery. We reconnect, tuck away the battery lead so that we can put the battery compartment cover back on top with some very strong magnets and then take the H wing to our takeoff position. So we are ready for a safe launch. Just two tasks to complete before we actually launch for our first flight. And the first one is calibrating the GPS. Three steps within the GPS calibration and the app tells us when we've completed each step automatically. So the first one is to hold the H-wing nose up and turn around three times. The app tells us we've completed that step. Next step, we hold the H-wing flat and again, turn around three times. It will tell us when it's complete. And the third step for GPS calibration, we hold it on its side and again, rotate about three times until the GPS calibration is complete. Next, second task is to calibrate the airspeed sensor. Two steps within this. The first one, you block the airspeed sensor inlet until that is detected as complete. And the second step is to blow into the inlet. And it tells us that that step is complete. And then we're ready to fly. With the H-Wing at a safe distance from any buildings or individuals, we can arm it. And we do that by pulling the left stick to the bottom right corner. And then we're ready to take off by just pushing the left stick up. You can watch on the app, on the map and the telemetry underneath telling us what our airspeed is, our ground speed, our distance from home, our distance flown, altitude and other information like that. You'll see the FPV image is in the bottom left, but we're, we're in hovering mode and we can click on that image to expand it to the FPV image and we've clicked on A to go into flight mode. Transitioning between hover and flight mode or vice versa is just done with the button A at any time. But if we continue our flight until we're happy that is complete, watching the FPV image, steering using the right stick left or right and then to return home we click on the B button and that will automatically bring us back to the same start location and automatically land. If we need to abandon the landing then we can click B again and, and manually move the H-Wing away from any obstacles and land manually. So that's the H-Wing VTOL from our new friends at Foxtech. If you are looking for an innovative aerial video solution that combines real ease of use with long flight times, then this could be your thing. Click on the link in the video description or the pinned comment for the full specification and the price. You might want to subscribe and click on the bell icon for notifications of our future uploads. 
and scheduled live streams for lots more interesting product reviews and flight tests. But thanks for watching this one. Hope to see you next time. Thank you.